Thanks. <sighs> Cast light on your armor? Wait, why is that not working? Okay, fine, your amulet. Okay, okay, we got a bit of light back in the room. Ready a ranged attack. Nice, good hit. 14 poison. I should have given uh, Clam the really expensive bolts a long time ago. Oh my god, he's at like we one health. You. Dang, he's freaking eight muck again. Oh man, he knows who the who the strong one is. He knows muck is the powerhouse. Ready another, they're those expensive arrows. Dude, Muck is just like, so yeah, I remember the fight, I had this giant spider, and then I got impaled and I blacked out. And then I remember like coming to, and then I remember getting impaled and then like some guy ate me a little bit. And then I blacked out, it really hurt. And then I remember coming to and you were holding a candle, like his memory of this fight is just gonna be like traumatic. Where do you think you're going? Achievement earned. Kill Razan. Wow, that was rough. So the guy that, with muck luck in this case, the guy who was in charge of keeping the room lit got knocked out versus vampires. That was, that got rough. All right, so before continuing, Let's swap out these really expensive arrows for standard ones. And swap out the really expensive bolts for standard ones. There we go. Because those suckers did a lot. I didn't realize I had bolts that did 2d8. All right, let's get the loot. Good arms what you is got. this? Farewell letter. Okay. Do I have a quest reward if I, like, go back? I don't think so. Okay, all right, so I think next what I need to do is take the teleporter back to uh, town. I gotta tell you, if it wasn't for the massive frustration I had early on in this game, where you got you guys, the people watching this on YouTube who left comments, the people uh, watching this on Twitch, that explain to me the rules of like the vampire, you know, the fighting the vamps, they need to be in like, you know, the darkness versus half light versus full light, uh, how to disable the regeneration and like get extra damage each turn. If I didn't know that, I'd be, I'd be having, this would be such a worse game. <laughs> like I pity the people who go into this blind. Uh, it's, it's much more doable once you have that information. I imagine some people probably got stuck. I just realized all the legendary enemies I've fought in this game so far have been freaking vampires. Uh, go to Kier Kiflin. Da -da -da -da. They're like, yeah, if you find a teleporter, here's the the way you know the code you need to teleport back to Kier Kiflin. But no one's found one in a thousand years. I've already found three. Y'all adventures just slacking. Tip, you could change the difficulty of the game at any time. Do I am I doing that badly that you felt like you had to say that? <sighs> Don't answer that. The game does a terrible job of giving you the right information. I feel like the game It probably Um like, it just assumes you already know a lot more than I did about 5e. Hello, Arwen. 
Arwen. We're friends now? I'll keep calling you kid, I think. Whatever. We've been to Copran. Ring a bell? You bet. Apparently you are indebted to someone there. An elf ranger. She calls herself Bitterroot. Oh, really? Something to do with her mood, maybe? She said you owe her? A child? She's crazy. <laughs> we just said we'd bring the message. She's still waiting. Yeah, thanks for the message. Want to tell us what this is about? No, I don't. <laughs> you shouldn't take her child away from her. You're out of line. I'd step back if I were you. All right, it's none of our business. She gave us this for you. What? I... I don't believe it. She went back for it. Feel more like talking now? Get out! <laughs> Noxie, just everything Noxie said pisses him off. Uh, okay. Well, that's that quest is updated, I guess. Um, zip over here. What's this person got to say? Clear skies, adventurers. Stay in the light. <laughs> A long, adventures. awkward look in the face. What? Wait, I don't even know what he just completed old memory. What? I don't even know what just happened. I just imagine all of us like... Okay. Travel interrupted. Honorable members of the council, please be seated. The Legacy Council is now in session. <laughs> They're already sitting. Lord Keenmind has the floor. Honorable members of the council, we at the Arcanium have gathered crucial information about this. You'd think this council, with how important they seem to be, could afford shares with more lumbar support. It's crown. This is indeed the crown of the Magister, belonging to Kaysenax. Eternal soul of the eight traditions, ninth and last magister of the Manakellan Arcanium. At the time, there were eight masters of magic, one for each of the old schools. In time of need, each master lent their gem to the magister, the head of the Arcanium. Placed in the crown, they granted additional powers that enabled the magister to cast spells or perform rituals of incredible power, such as the closing of the rift from Tirmar. Indeed, now, there is some debate about whether the crown with all its gems could possibly open another rift, or even reopen the previous one. Nonsense. The rift has been closed for a millennium. So Lasta paid a high enough price for that. Have you been to the Badlands recently? Order! Marshal Sunblaze has the floor. For our part, now that the existence of Sora Akath on Celasta has been confirmed, we have gathered proof that they are operating everywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms, including here, in the Principality of Mazgarth. Impossible! The Soraks are looking for the crown, and- That's like that guy's only line. Anytime we deliver evidence, impossible, and then we'd like prove him wrong, and then he stays quiet till the next impossible. It's gems. That cannot be a coincidence. A powerful artifact, certainly. But reopening the rift? It took all the gods of Tirmar to open it. No one knows for sure what the crown can do. It's just a theory. As you know, it protects itself from our divination spells. That is one of its mysterious powers. Then why would the Sorax think they know better? Because they're Sorax. Their foul god, Sortar, knows. He is guiding them. We tried to leave him. And them. Behind on Tirmar. It seems we failed. Their people. Their culture. They must have been obsessing about this for a thousand years. 
While we spent that time fighting each other, they had to stick together and hide to survive. Fables and conjectures. Perhaps. Impactable. But can we take the risk? The crown must be secured. The crown belongs to those who found it. Those are the rules. The quest for the gems should be completed. Only this way can we learn more about the crown and its powers. These deputies, well, they're not strong enough. No offense. Tell that to the crown. And they've done well enough so far, wouldn't you say? This is nonsense. <laughs> Maybe the deputies would like to speak. After all, they are. This, this guy's got a real, like, punch me attitude. <laughs> Members of the council now, aren't they? We got this. Really, it's under control. Hmm. Confidence. I like that. Preposterous! <laughs> Five more gems to find. Do you even have a lead? Yes. Hey, Joe. He's staring at me all blurry-eyed. The best lead possible. The crown itself tells us where to go. The Sorax will come after you. You know that. But you have our complete support in this struggle. Our thanks, Marshal. If that is all, may we conclude? I'd like to say a word. Oh, if that Tower of Knowledge worsened. Of course, Your Highness. We're listening. I think our brave deputies shouldn't be, you know, sleeping in a city inn. We have a very comfortable residence near the palace. We get a house. They would be safer there, don't you think? That would be my, I mean, our part in supporting the quest. <clears throat> your Highness, I must remind you that your decisions as head of state are not subject to council approval. Oh, right. Might I suggest that you reiterate your offer outside these walls? Of course. I beg the council's pardon. Not at all, your highness. Then I think that is all. Thank you. The legacy council Sounds like is we're going to get a house to rest out. A word, please, deputies. What's up? Her royal <laughs> highness asked <laughs> Mucklock sounds like he's got like a bunch of chewing gum in his mouth. We're shot. Yeah, I was snacking through that whole meeting. It's me to reiterate her offer to accommodate you at the palace residence. What's that? A house for plenty potentiaries, emissaries, and other guests of the court. Sounds nice. You don't say. Where is this residence? <laughs> In you the don't palace. Say. Ask for Ravensworth, a royal butler. He'll show you. Stay in the light, senior deputies. You too, Captain. She said stay in the light, but it sounded like go bleep yourself, you know? It had one of those tones. Stay in the light. Alright. Uh, okay. Alright, quick save. Game quick save, wonderful. Okay. We are going to pop out to the main menu. I had a uh, visitor in the middle of all that. What's up, dude? It's like, why are you still awake? Alright. Chat with that. That is where we're going to pause here for the evening. Y'all have been wonderful.